What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Liquidator, coming back with breaking news to what look like USA Olympic officials has broke their silence about Caitlin Clark being snubbed. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Clark and the Indiana Fever is currently getting ready to face off against their rivals, the Chicago Sky, this evening in Chicago. This is the first time the team will play in Chicago for the 2024 season, and we know it's a lot going into this game today, man. A lot of history already between both franchises, and I'm excited to see this game. Be sure to tune in. In a few hours, the game is scheduled to come on at 3 p.m. Moving on to the topic of discussion, Caitlin Clark being left out of the Olympics. Olympus has been raising eyebrows these last couple weeks. A lot of people have been speaking out about it. We had Senator Ted Cruz recently speak out about it. And it looked like USA Olympic officials finally broke their silence on the matter. And this is crazy because I thought they been said something. Well, it looked like they is not happy with Caitlin Clark being left out of the 2024 Olympics because it's being reported that LA Olympic officials leaving Caitlin Clark off 2024. 24 U.S. team is a missed opportunity. Casey Wasserman, president of the 2028 Los Angeles Olympic Organization Committee, said Saturday night that the USA basketball decision to put Caitlin Clark on the 2024 Olympic team was a missed opportunity. Hey, I think it's a missed opportunity because she's clearly a generational talent. There have been incredible talents in the world. Shame on all of us. The world wasn't in place to embrace that, Wasserman stated. Take Diana Taurasi or Brianna Stewart or some of our other talents who's going to be on the team as well. Simon also went on to state, I understand both sides of the issue, but purely as an opportunity to showcase a generational talent to the world, clearly. But I don't totally get both sides of it. If it were simply, we wouldn't be debating about it, Washington stated. The timing of the USA basketball team training camp, which was held in Cleveland at the same time that Caitlin Clark, Iowa team, was playing in the women's Final Four, was not ideal. So basically, he's saying by her playing in the final four might have harmed her chances in getting to the team Olympics but at the end of the day we know that those women did not want Caitlin Clark a part of that team because if they did she would have been on the team he also stated unfortunately I think something USA basketball needs to look at is the qualification process for these players if you have an athlete going deep into the NCAA tournament it makes it really difficult to participate in those process so you don't even necessarily get the opportunity that others do he also stated whether she should have been on a team or not she didn't really have the chance to be on the court at the time in those moments to be judged in the same way and that's a hard thing for any athlete to deal with and lastly he went on to state by him being on a committee for a 2028 Olympic team, he definitely want to see Caitlin Clark on that team. I believe she's going to make it to that team. But as of right now, like I stated yesterday and a day before, Caitlin Clark is not going to be participating in the 2024 Olympics. And it's very unfortunate. People been reporting on her going on this three by three team. She's not eligible to be on that team. Once again, man, a lot of people out here clickbaiting that narrative. Caitlin Clark do not have any eligibility to play in a three by three team but as of right now Caitlin Clark is suiting up to play Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky tonight in Chi-Town the game is a few hours away make sure you guys tune in to it let's continue to break records and Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever is trying to get their fifth straight win in a row get down in the comment section let me know your thoughts about this keep them bills on because you know I'm going to bring you the news and until next time man shake the haters off I'm out of here peace out um, congratulations on the win. Um, Caitlin, question for you. Um, obviously, looking at the weekend, mm -hmm. now you can go five straight wins. A hugely anticipated game against the Chicago Sky. Mm -hmm. All that's been said and done with that rivalry is there. I just wonder, you look at other sports, there's a lot of people that talk about how a big rivalry helps them find a new level, find an extra gear. Is that something that you feel is applying to you here, looking forward to Sunday's game? I mean, I think we're just taking it one game at a time. Um, and I think that's why we've been able to be successful in this stretch is because we haven't looked too far ahead. It's 
the game that's always just right in front of us. Um, I'm pretty sure the only people that view this as a rivalry is all of you. Like, for us, like, it's just a, a game of basketball. Like, that's what it is. And if it's going to help move the game forward, absolutely. Like, that's amazing. That's what it should be. Like, people can talk about it. Um, I mean, yeah, I think it's, I mean, I saw the ticket prices. I guess the only thing is, like, I'm surprised we're not playing at the United Center. Um, I thought that would have been really good for the game and really good for all the women's basketball fans in Chicago. So um, maybe there's a conflict of some sort that I don't know about. Uh, obviously, that's a little above my pay grade. Um, but I th uh, we're excited, you know, one thing at a time, you kind of have